attempting to stop the unstoppable in the name of love from medical care to post-mortem maintenance. Today on Cool Stuff, Strange Things cringe with me through the beyond creepy love story of Dr. Carl Tanzler. Carl Tanzler was a German immigrant working in Key West, Florida at a hospital in the early 1930s. It was there that he fell in love with a young Cuban-American woman named Maria Elena Milagro de Hoyas. Elena was dying of tuberculosis, but Tanzler felt that she was his destiny, despite already having a wife and children. See, he had visions of her, his one true love, as a child. Because of this, he wasn't going to let a little thing like death get in their way. Initially, Tanzler took it upon himself to care for Elena and treat her condition. He convinced her family that his concoctions could work and even set up x-ray equipment in her parents' home for treatment. Eventually, when Elena died at 21, he convinced the family to let him pay for her funeral. This is where Tanzler's undying love takes a twisted turn. Tanzler built a mausoleum for Elena in the Key West Cemetery, spending nearly every night visiting her body and pumping it full of formaldehyde. After two years, nightly visits just weren't cutting it, and Tanzler towed Elena's body out of her grave on a toy wagon. Her next resting place, Tanzler's home. Tanzler lived with, danced with, and even slept with Elena's corpse. He was dedicated to her preservation. He filled her body with rags to maintain its shape, kept her skeleton intact with piano wire and coat hangers, replaced her decomposed eyes with glass, and patched her rotting flesh with silk, wax, and plaster. Tanzler even fashioned a wig for Elena out of her own hair, collected by her mother and gifted to him at her death. Oh, and the scent? He simply doused Elena in perfume. Taking his eccentricity to the next level, Tanzler had plans to create a spacecraft to fly Elena's corpse into the stratosphere so that radiation from outer space could penetrate her tissues and restore her. Okay, Tanzler. Seven whole years later, the jig was up. Elena's sister stormed in and discovered the body. The authorities were brought in, but due to the statute of limitations on grave robbing, Tanzler was off the hook. This curious case became a spectacle in the Keys, where Elena's corpse was placed on public display at a local funeral home. Over 6,000 people came to view the wax-like figure. Even crazier than this macabre spectacle, the public sympathized with Tanzler. Elena was eventually returned to an unmarked grave in the Key West Cemetery, and Tanzler moved to Pasco County, Florida. Remember that wife and kids I mentioned to? His estranged wife supported him towards the end of his life, even though he was still enamored with Elena, living with a life-size replica that he created of her himself. Was Tanzler a love-struck eccentric, or I'll just say it, an obsessive necrophiliac creep? You be the judge and go get the inside scoop on the story at Ripley's Believe It or Not Auditorium in Key West, Florida. I'm Sabrina Seek, and I'll be back next week with more cool stuff, strange things.